हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द स्टेयर केस फिनोमिन इन द पार्ट वन वी डिस्क्राइब द स्टेयर केस इफेक्ट इन द स्केलेटल मसल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द स्टेयर केस इफेक्ट इन द केस ऑफ हार्ट मसल आई होप यू सीन दैट पार्ट वन वेर वी डिस्क्राइब द स्टेयर केस इफेक्ट एंड द कोर कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड इट दैट इज इंक्रीजिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ स्टिमुलेशन टू द मसल causes increased availability of sarcoplasmic calcium and greater the amount of calcium available in the sarcoplasm stronger would be the muscle contraction so uh, that was the uh, basis for the staircase effect in the skeletal muscle well same uh, concept applies in the case of heart muscle as well but with some caveats so let's try to understand uh, the staircase in heart muscle how is it slightly different from the skeletal muscle and its clinical application of course uh, in the case of heart failure so let's begin uh, first of all uh, in the part 1 i mentioned this that uh, staircase is also called as i mean trepi the german word for staircase so it's also called as trepi phenomenon or bowditch effect now this is named after hp bowditch who first described it in the heart muscle uh, way back in 1871 so if you are calling it bowditch effect then uh, it specifically deals with the heart muscle though this type of effect is seen in skeletal muscle as well as cardiac muscle please remember that all right now coming to the skeletal uh, staircase effect in the cardiac muscle of course uh, the basic remains the same increasing frequency of stimulation would cause increasing strength of contraction so let's say a cardiac muscle with the t tubule and the l tubule increased frequency of stimulation to the heart muscle to the myocardium or to the ventricles would mean what when would that happen when sa node generates more number of impulses per unit time that means increasing heart rates so when the heart rates go on increasing and the sa node is sending more and more impulses to the ventricles to the heart muscle to the myocardium the heart muscle would contract stronger and stronger and stronger that's the staircase effect of course it cannot go on indefinitely it has got certain ceiling effect but however from the normal range if the heart rate increases it would show staircase effect with increasing heart rates there would be increasing strength of contraction of the heart muscle as well right now what is different in the heart muscle which is not there in the skeletal muscle let's understand that particular part let's say here is a part of the heart muscle a uh, ventricular muscle to be more precise now impulses are coming from the sa node they reach the heart muscle and uh, this is just a diagrammatic representation because we had drawn a similar diagram for skeletal muscle uh, it will be easy to correlate so increasing frequency of stimulation would cause more and more calcium to be released into the sarcoplasm and we have already mentioned that higher the amount of calcium in the sarcoplasm greater would be the strength of contraction so as the frequency of stimulation is increasing for the heart muscle more and more calcium is being poured into the sarcoplasm and it would cause stronger and stronger and stronger contractions of the ventricular muscle fibers that's staircase in the heart muscle what is special what is different unique in the case of heart muscle look as uh, elsewhere like as in any nerve or muscle heart muscle also has sodium potassium pump let's draw 
diagrammatically the sodium potassium pump in the membrane of the heart muscle or heart muscle fiber. It has sodium potassium pump and it has an exchanger which is which is based on the functioning of sodium potassium pump. Which is that exchanger? The NCX sodium calcium exchanger. So, this sodium calcium exchanger is a secondary active transporter and as you must be aware that all the secondary active transports are critically dependent on the functioning of sodium potassium pump. Well, you can refer to the general physiology videos where I have mentioned it in detail. Now, you are stimulating the heart muscle, calcium is pouring in into the sarcoplasm, into the cytosol of the muscle fiber and this calcium is initiating the contraction. As we have already mentioned that uh, the ionic or free calcium cannot be kept in the cytosol. Cytosolic calcium concentration should not ever increase beyond a certain level. It will be damaging uh, to the muscle, it will be damaging to any cell. So, uh, it could be muscle or it could be any other cell in the body, cytosolic free calcium or ionic calcium sh uh, should be kept very, very low. So, this calcium which is coming in with increased frequency of stimulation, this calcium has to be sent out of the sarcoplasm, out of the cytosol. In the case of heart muscle, uh, first there is the protein that we call as sarca. S E R C A, which is there in the skeletal muscle as well. Uh, so, this sarca will remove this calcium from the sarcoplasm and will send it back to the L tubule. That is fine, that is similar to the skeletal muscle. But in addition, the heart muscle has this sodium calcium exchanger N C X. All right. This sodium calcium exchanger is going to bring the sodium in and send the calcium out of the fiber. It will send the calcium out of the fiber. So, here there are two mechanisms that will send the calcium out of the cytosol or, or sarcoplasm so that the cytosolic calcium concentration does not rise and will be damaging to the, uh, to the cell. Well then, so second additional mechanism to send the calcium out of the sarcoplasm that is NCX. Now consider this, increasing frequency of stimulation to the heart muscle. Therefore, more and more calcium is coming in from its storage side, site inside the muscle. The calcium will be poured into the sarcoplasm and this calcium is causing stronger and stronger muscle contraction, I mean calcium level is increasing, it is causing stronger and stronger muscle contraction, muscle means cardiac muscle. And then it has to be sent out, it has to be sent back. So, we have sarca and we have NCX. As I mentioned NCA, NCX, it causes sodium to be brought in and calcium to be sent out of the cells, sent out of the fiber. Now, when the frequency of stimulation in the heart muscle increases, that means increase heart rate, uh, what happens is the sodium potassium pump in the membrane of the ventricular muscle fibers, it is not able to keep, keep up with the pace of that increasing frequency of stimulation. You know, uh, if you can recall from the nerve or the skeletal muscle, sodium potassium pump has to be active after every excitation of the excitable tissue. So, is the case here. But what happens is with increased heart rate and increasing frequency of stimulation, sodium potassium pump is unable to keep up pace with that, with that increased frequency and therefore, NCX is also not that very 
effective in removing the calcium from the sarcoplasm. It will do it, it will perform its function, but not that effectively and therefore, balance is slightly tilted in the favor of sarca to remove the calcium from the sarcoplasm. If some of you have not understood this, let me just uh, reiterate that in the case of cardiac muscle, we have two mechanisms that can remove the calcium from the sarcoplasm so that sarcoplasmic calcium level does not rise too much. We have two uh, pumps or we have two rather uh, transporters which remove the calcium from the sarcoplasm. One is sarca which is uh, there in, even in the skeletal muscle and the other one is NCX. In a normal heart, now let us understand after beyond this point, let us understand the clinical application, uh, what happens in the heart failure. So, let us first understand what is happening in a normal heart. In the normal heart, whenever the heart rate increases, means there is increased frequency of stimulation to the muscle, to the ventricular muscle. Sodium potassium pump in the membrane of the heart muscle is unable to keep uh, keep up with that pace, pace of stimulation and therefore, NCX also is not able to keep, uh, uh, keep along with that pace. So, what happens is in a normal heart, uh, the balance is tilted in the favor of sarca. Look, calcium was going to be removed out of the sarcoplasm by two mechanisms. But in a normal heart, one of them is stronger and therefore, calcium will be removed mainly by the sarca, the calcium ATPase. But mind you, sarca was removing the calcium from the sarcoplasm and where was that calcium sent? That calcium was sent back into the L tubule means inside the muscle. Whereas, whenever NCX is going to be active, NCX, the sodium calcium exchanger is going to send the calcium out of the cell, out of the fiber, right. Now, in a normal heart, sarca is more effective in removing the calcium. So, calcium which has come in the sarcoplasm is going to go back and stay inside the cell itself, stay inside the fiber. So, whenever required, it can again come back it can again produce contraction and a stronger contraction if required. So, that is possible in a normal heart. Now, let us see what happens in the condition of heart failure. First of all, a failing heart or a heart failure condition does not show staircase effect. In fact, I mean it does not show positive staircase effect as I mentioned in the first part of the video in the skeletal muscle. This is a positive staircase effect where a, a contraction becomes stronger and stronger. Whereas, the other way around or the opposite of that, converse of that would be a negative staircase where contraction strength will go on decreasing. Uh, it is called as inverse staircase or negative staircase. So, a failing heart would either not show the positive staircase at all. So, there is no staircase, no increased strength of contraction and in fact, it may also show, it may also exhibit negative staircase or inverse staircase. Let us understand why. It has been found, it has been researched and uh, therefore, narrated that uh, in the setting of heart failure, in the conditions of heart failure, they have found mutations or uh, some changes, some defect in the sarca. So, what will be the result of that? Normally, a normal heart would have uh, pumped the calcium out of the sarcoplasm, but back to the L tubule means back inside the cell itself. The calcium would be stored inside the cell, but not in the cytosol, inside the L tubule. Remember, we said cytosolic calcium concentration should be always, always kept low. So, it can be stored in the tubules, that is fine. 
and whenever required it can come back and cause stronger contraction but if there is a mutation of the one of the subtypes of sarca and if the sarca is not acting effectively because of that then what happens we have another protein we have another transporter the ncx so this will cause removal of calcium from the sarcoplasm and this calcium will be sent out of the fiber so if the calcium now is not remaining inside the fiber it's going out and therefore effectively the intracellular calcium intracellular calcium would decrease and therefore what will happen remember what we have said is that <coughs> excuse me we have said that uh, greater the calcium available stronger will be the contraction but here in the case of heart failure the calcium availability will become less and less and less so your high frequency of stimulation will not be able to send more and more calcium into the sarcoplasm why because sarca was defective so calcium could not be kept inside the tubules i mean sent back and kept in intracellularly but ncx was sending the calcium out of the cell out of the fiber therefore uh, effectively the intracellular con concentration was falling and therefore less and less calcium was made available uh, for the sake of contraction and therefore even with increasing heart rates in the case of heart failure even with increasing heart rates the strength of contraction will go on decreasing calcium availability itself will go on decreasing that's the uh, staircase in the case of heart muscle uh, and the additional factor in the case of heart muscle was ncx and therefore uh, what happens in the case of heart failure is uh, one of the reasons i mean there are there have been many defects which have been found out but one important reason for heart failure has been found to be the defect in the sarca the mutations or any other type of defect in the sarca therefore calcium could not be kept inside the cell in the required amounts ncx kept on sending the calcium out of the fiber less calcium available so even with higher frequency of stimulation contraction became weaker and weaker that's the staircase and its clinical application uh, in the form of heart failure